good morning students of class 4th students i am sure all of you are happy and healthy students in my last video i had completed exercise 3 of unit 9 of your english grammar book that is nouns common noun proper noun collective noun today i'll be continuing with the collective nouns of unit 9 so all of you please take out your english grammar book and turn to page number 35 students please take out your english grammar book and turn to page number 35 as i'll be continuing with exercise 4 of unit 9 nouns common proper collective students in my last video i had also explained about collective nouns now once again i'm going to revise what collective nouns are students collective noun is the name of a collection of persons animals or things hai na jo collective noun beta jo word hai that is made from the verb collection wo collective noun kis se bana hai collection se aur collection kis se bana hai collect se collect means ikhatta hona jab kai sari ek jaisi cheez ikhatti ho jati hai to hum usko collective noun bolte hain ye dhyan rakhna hai collective noun mein ek hi tarah ki kai sari cheeze ikhatti ho jati ek hi kind ke hmm? like bahut sare log ikhatte hue to collection of people bahut sare animals ab alien animals mein suppose bahut sare lions ek sath ikhatte hain to unko अपराइड ऑफ लाइन्स बोलेंगे बहुत सारे एलिफेंट्स इकट्ठे हैं तो उनको हर्ड ऑफ एलिफेंट बोलेंगे तो ऐसे अलग अलग कलेक्शन के लिए अलग अलग कलेक्टिव नाउन है है ना बहुत सारी बर्ड्स इकट्ठी हैं तो उनको या तो फ्लाइट ऑफ बर्ड बोलेंगे या फ्लॉक ऑफ बर्ड बोलेंगे बहुत सारी बीज इकट्ठी हैं तो उनको स्वाम ऑफ बीज बोलेंगे तो ये फ्लॉक फ्लाइट हर्ड स्वाम प्राइड वॉट आर दीज दीज आर ऑल कलेक्टिव नाउन्स तो जब बहुत सारी सेम काइंड की चीजें एक साथ इकट्ठी हो जाती हैं तो उनको हम डिफरेंट नेम्स देते हैं उन नेम्स को बिकॉज ऑल दी नेम्स आर नाउन्स और कलेक्शन वाले जो कलेक्टिव चीजों के नेम को हम कलेक्टिव नाउन बोलते हैं फाइन सो अ कलेक्टिव नाउन इज द नेम ऑफ अ कलेक्शन ऑफ पर्सन एनिमल्स और थिंग्स एग्जाम्पल लिटर लिटर ऑफ पपीज लिटर ऑफ कब्स और जो लिटर है बेटा ये दो हम चीजों के लिए यूज कर सकते हैं तो बहुत सारे पपीज इकट्ठे हो तो उनके लिए लिटर ऑफ पपीज बोल सकते हैं या बहुत सारे लायन के बेबीज इकट्ठे हो तो उनके लिए भी हम लिटर ऑफ कब्स बोल सकते हैं हर्ड हर्ड ऑफ एलिफेंट्स हर्ड ऑफ काउस देन कॉयर अ कॉयर ऑफ सिंगर्स स्वाम अ स्वाम ऑफ बीज अ क्राउड अ क्राउड ऑफ पीपल a mob of angry people army an army of soldiers and students as explained ki a collective noun ke aage hamesha a or n kyun laga hota hai kyunki inko hum ek is pure group ko hum ek consider karte hain isliye collective noun ke sath hamesha singular verb lagta hai so now i'm going to start with exercise 4 given on page number 35 and exercise 4 is underline the collective nouns underline the collective nouns in this sentences are given and we need to underline the collective noun a gang of robbers a gang of robbers robbed the bank a gang of robbers rob the bank so in this the collective noun is gang bahut sare robbers robbers jante hain na thieves ko chor ko bolte hain jab bahut sare robbers ikhatte rehte hain to unke liye kaun sa collective noun use kiya jata hai beta it is 
gang. So a gang of robbers robbed the bank. Clear? A gang of robbers robbed the bank. I hope this is clear. Now, the second one. He owns he owns a fleet of ships. Ships बहुत सारे जहाज एक साथ हैं तो उनको क्या बोला जाता है fleet of ships. So he owns a fleet of ships. Own मतलब जिसके मालिक होना. And fleet of ships, fleet जो collective noun है किसके लिए use किया जाता है for ships. तो जब बहुत सारी ships एक साथ हैं तो उनके लिए हम कौन सा collective noun use करते हैं fleet. So he owns a fleet of ships then the third one the third one is the members the members of the committee The members of the committee met on Friday. The members of the committee met on Friday. Now, in this the collective noun is committee. Because committee jo collective noun hai, bhoat sare members ka jab collection ikhatte hote hai, to unko haan committee bolte hai. So, the members of the committee met on Friday. The members of the committee met on Friday. So a collection of members is known as committee. Kaya then a committee members aayenge. So bohat sare members, collection of members is known as committee. Then the next one, fourth one. He was, he was attacked, he was attacked by a swarm of bees. Madhumakki ke jhund ko, hum bohat saari madhumakki ka jab jhund ikhatta ho, to uske liye kaunsa collective noun hai? Swarm. So, he was attacked by a swarm of bees. Fine. So, bohat saari bees jab ikhatta honge, to uske liye kaunsa collective noun use karenge beta? Swarm. So, the fourth one is, he was attacked by a swarm of bees. Now, the fifth one. And the fifth one is, would, would you, would you like, would you like to, Pluck, would you like to pluck this bunch of grapes? Would you like to pluck this bunch of grapes? Now, pluck means torna, okay? And the collective noun is bunch. Now, beta, the bunch collective noun is, we use all the things with it. Bunch of grapes, bunch of keys, bunch of leeches. So, this bunch is bunch of flowers. Bhi bolte. Bouquet of flowers bhi hota hai or bunch. Bunch means when you have a bunch of flowers, you have a bunch of flowers. So, we use a bunch of flowers. So, this bunch can be used with bunch of grapes, bunch of keys, bunch of flowers, bunch of leeches. So, ये bunch collective noun है, आप कई सारी चीजों के साथ use कर सकते हैं, pluck means तोड़ना, clear? So, in the fifth one, the collective noun is bunch. Then the sixth one, the troop, T-R-O-U-P-E, troop. Now students, all of you should know the difference between T-R-U-P-E, troop and T-R-O-O-P, troop. दोनों ही कलेक्टिव नाउन है प्रोनंसिएशन सेम है 
but the spelling is different the troop of dancers gave a marvelous marvelous means excellent bahut zyada acha marvelous performance now jo troop hai ye collective noun dancers ke liye use kiya jata hai theek hai किसके लिए यूज किया जाता है डांसर्स के लिए सो ट्रूप ऑफ डांसर्स एंड टी आर डबल ओ पी ट्रूप मंकीज के लिए यूज किया जाता है दैट आल्सो आई वांट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ लुक एट द सेवन सेंटेंस लुक एट दैट ट्रूप ऑफ मंकीज लुक एट दैट ट्रूप ऑफ मंकीज फाइन अब यहां पर अब दोनों ट्रूप है टी आर ओ यू पी डांसर्स के लिए यूज किया जाता है कहीं कहीं ट्रूप ऑफ सिंगर्स के लिए भी यूज है ना कॉयर ऑफ सिंगर्स भी होता है एंड ट्रूप जो परफॉर्म करने जाता है ट्रूप कहीं पे उनके लिए हम टी आर ओ यू पी ट्रूप यूज करते हैं विद डांसर्स एंड विद सिंगर्स ठीक है एंड टी आर डबल ओ पी ट्रू मंकीज के लिए यूज किया जाता है तो बहुत बच्चे कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं अब उन्हें पता है कि ट्रू दोनों का प्रोनाउंसिएशन सेम है बट स्पेलिंग एंड मीनिंग इज एंटायरली डिफरेंट सो यू नीड टू कीप दिस इन माइंड कि टी आर ओ यू पी ट्रू हम डांसर्स या सिंगर्स के कलेक्शन को बोलते हैं वेर एज ट्रू बंदरों के झुंड को हम बोलते हैं क्लियर एंड अगेन अब आप यहाँ पे ध्यान से देखो यहाँ पे दैट लगा हुआ है यहाँ पे दिस लगा है यहाँ अ लगा है दिस इंडिकेट्स कि जो कलेक्टिव नाउन है ये हमेशा सिंगुलर इनको हम मानते हैं इनके संग हमेशा सिंगुलर वर्ब भी यूज करना ये मैंने समझाया दिस लगा है देखो दिस बंच ऑफ ग्रे है ना तो एक कलेक्टिव नाउन को हम हमेशा सिंगुलर ही काउंट करेंगे क्लियर सो आई होप एवरी वन इज डन सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रिवाइज एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू इरेज the first one a gang of robbers rob the bank the in this the collective noun is gang second he owns a fleet of ships in this the collective noun is fleet third the members of the committee met on friday in this The collective noun is committee. Committee of members होता है जैसे second में fleet collective noun किसके लिए use किया जाता है ship के लिए gang किसके लिए use किया जाता है robbers के लिए है ना fleet ships के लिए committee किसके लिए members के लिए Then the fourth is he was attacked by a swarm of bees. Bees के collect collection को हम क्या बोलेंगे swarm. So he was attacked by a swarm of bees. Then the fifth one. Would you like to pluck this bunch of grapes? In this, the collective noun for grapes is bunch. Besides grape, you can also say bunch of flowers, bunch of keys, bunch of leeches. Then the sixth one. The troupe of dancers gave a marvelous performance. Troupe of dancers bhi hota hai, troupe of singers bhi hota hai, and the spelling is T R O U P E troupe. Whereas the seventh one is look at that troupe of monkeys. This is also true, but the spelling is different. This is T R double O P. Just my double O ho, wo monkeys ke liye. Aise yaad rakho. ठीक है? So I hope everyone is done. So now I'm going to erase this and write the eighth one. Now the eighth sentence. there are eleven players there are eleven players in a cricket team there are 11 players in a cricket team in this which is the collective noun bahut sare players jab ikhatte hote hain to what do they form they form a team 
So in this, the collective noun is team. Team of players. Fine. Then the ninth one. The ninth one is the farmer. The farmer was calling. The farmer was calling his herd of cows. In this the collective noun is herd. And herd can be used for cows. Herd can be used for elephants also. Then the tenth one is I saw a flock. I saw a flock of sheep. S-H-I-P-S ships hota hai. And I hope sabko yaad hai. Sheep ka plural bhi sheep hi hota hai. Sheep mein kabhi bhi hum S nahi lagate. So I saw a flock of sheep grazing. Grazing in the field. Grazing matlab bhaas charne ko. English mein grazing bote hai. And the collective noun for sheep is flock. Flock birds ke liye bhi use kar sakte hai. Birds ke liye a flock of birds, a flight of birds. Both can be used. So with this we have finished our exercise 4. I'll revise then I'll erase. The 8th one is, there are 11 players in a cricket team. The collective noun is team. Team of players. 9. The farmer was calling his herd of cow. Herd of cows, herd of elephants, both the collective nouns. Herd can be used for both cows as well as elephants. 10. I saw a flock of sheep grazing in the field. Flock of sheep. In this, flock is the collective noun and flock can also be used for flock of birds. Clear? So now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to start with exercise 5. Now, exercise 5 is match the words with collective nouns. Fine. Ten words are there. I'll write those words. Stick. Then. Sorry. Sticks. Cards. Oblique. Wolves. Then the third one is. Angry people. Four is fish. Fifth is whales. Sixth is rubbish. Seventh is lions. Eighth is singers. Ninth is chicks and tenth is stars. Fine. These are the words and the collective nouns are on the right side. The A is T. E. These are the collective nouns. B is mob. C is school. I would have written over here so that on the right side I could have written the collective nouns. A, E, B is mob, C, school. 
we brood e bundle f cord g cluster h pride i pack and j show fine okay sticks 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 will be bundle fine six ka kya hoga bundle we will write e over here you will not match you will write and i'll write over here the first collective noun is a bundle of sticks first hamara kya hua a bundle of sticks cards wolf this is second write two over here this is one this is two and we'll write i i over here so we'll write in the second a pack of cards oblique wolves a pack of cards bhi hota hai beta a pack of wolves bhi hota hai both are correct then the third one angry people mob write three over here b a mob of angry people a mob of angry people then the fourth one fish fish a shoal of fish so we write four over here and we write j over here so a shoal of fish shoal of fish f i s h fishes mein likhna fish likhna then the fifth one whale whales ka school hota hai so we write a school of whales a school of whales clear then the sixth one rubbish heap so write a over here and write six over here a heap of rubbish a heap of rubbish a heap of rubbish then the seventh one is lions so we we'll write h over here and we we'll write seven over here a pride of lions a pride of lions clear then the eighth one singers so coil coil of singers a coil of singers yeah then the ninth one chicks so a brood of chicks right d over there a brood of chicks a brood of chicks bhi hota hai and a brood of ducklings bhi hota hai so for ducklings also you will use brood and for chicks also you will use brood and the last one that is stars so write g a cluster of stars you can also write a galaxy of stars cluster b or galaxy b do collective noun a cluster <coughs> of stars so these are the 10 collective 
nouns. I hope everybody has done students. Fine. I hope everyone has matched. I'll read and then I'll erase. First, a bundle of sticks. Second, a pack of cards or a pack of wolves. Third, a mob of angry people. Fourth, a shoal of fish. Fifth, a school of whales. Sixth, a heap of rubbish. Seventh, a pride of lions. Eighth, a cord of singers. Nine, a brood of chicks or a brood of ducklings. And tenth is a cluster of stars. You can also say a galaxy of stars. I hope everyone has done. So now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to start with exercise six. Last exercise of this unit, students. And exercise six is look at the pictures. Look at the pictures and write suitable collective nouns for them. Okay, look at the pictures and write suitable collective nouns for them. Now the first picture is of, start writing with me, a herd of elephants. First kiss kai beta, a herd of elephants. A herd of elephants. Then the second picture is of a litter of Puppies, a litter of puppies. I hope everyone is looking at page number 36. There are pictures given and as per the picture, we'll write the collective now. Then the third one, a string of pearls. Pearls jante hai na, motiyo ki. Motiyo ko bolte hai aur motiyo ki mala ko kya bolte hai? A string of pearls. You can see a string of pearls in the picture. This is a string of pearls. Then the fourth one. An army. Sorry. An army of soldiers. An army of soldiers. Clear? Yeah? Then the fifth one. A fleet. Beta jo fleet hota hai. That can be used for cars also and ships also. Aapne dekha hai na? President ya Prime Minister jab. When they travel on roads, you can see a fleet of cars. Kitni saari gaariyaan jati hai. So, fleet of cars bhi hota hai. Or fleet of ships bhi hota hai. So, fleet of cars, fleet of ships. Then the sixth one. A band of musicians. A band of musicians. Then the seventh one is a chest of drawers. Table mein bohat sare Chest bane hote hain aur aap khichte hain to drawers bahan nikalte hain. So a chest of drawers. And the last one is a bouquet of flowers. B-O-U-Q-U-E-T bouquet. Fine. B-O-U-Q-U-E-T bouquet of flowers. Clear? I hope everyone has done with this. We have finished our last exercise of unit 9 that is nouns, common, proper and collective. So now I am sure abhi aapko collective nouns pata ho gai honge. Kuch collective nouns se wo ek se jyada chijo ke liye. Jaise isme a fleet of cars, a fleet of ships, 
अ लिटर ऑफ पपीज भी होता है एंड अ लिटर ऑफ कब्स भी होता है क्लियर अ लिटर ऑफ पपीज होता है लिटर ऑफ कब्स भी होता है अ हर्ड ऑफ एलिफेंट्स होता है अ हर्ड ऑफ काउस भी होता है तो ये आपको बेटा पता रहने चाहिए कि कुछ कुछ कलेक्टिव नाउन एक से ज्यादा चीजों के लिए भी हम यूज यूज कर सकते हैं सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे स्टूडेंट्स I end my video here only but please do learn and revise all the taught exercises of the taught units that's all for today thank you students have a good day ahead